my name is Captain Steve Clark uh, from Challenge Air Cargo. We'll be taking a flight today in our uh, 757 uh, freighter from Miami International here in Florida down to uh, La Paz, Bolivia, one of the highest commercial airports in the world. And then from there on to uh, Quito, Ecuador, which is a high altitude city that sits right on the equator. Still at flight level 330 out over the Caribbean. Uh, about uh, 120 miles north of uh, Columbia's airspace. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the aircraft, uh, the Boeing uh, 757 freighter that uh, Challenge Air Cargo operates. Uh, this particular aircraft uh, was delivered to us in uh, the summer of 1989. Uh, myself and uh, Captain Frias uh, flew it from the factory to Miami on its inaugural flight. And it's been an excellent airplane uh, for the company ever since. Uh, the, car the airplane carries uh, 15 pallets of cargo plus uh, two belly compartments. Uh, it can lift up 40 metric tons of freight, which is around 88,000 uh, pounds. Uh, it carries uh, 34,000 uh, kilos of fuel. It's about 11,000 gallons. Empty, this plane has uh, an endurance of about 11 hours. The diamond, the white diamond here at the bottom represents the actual aircraft itself. And we just overflew a Tomo, which uh, is uh, a fix in uh, the Colombian uh, airspace. Uh, the magenta line up vertically is our route of flight. And uh, our next waypoint is Bolar, uh, 125 nautical miles from our present position. And we will arrive at Bolar at, Bolar at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 GMT time. From overhead Leticia, we enter uh, Brazilian airspace, continuing south, farther on down to the town of Rio Branco, make a slight turn. Uh, enter Bolivian airspace here, just south of Rio Branco, and now we're on the last leg, on down to uh, the La Paz VOR, right there uh, at our destination. Uh, we'll be starting our descent uh, in the next uh, half an hour or so. And we've got uh, 350, which is the La Paz uh, NDB in both ADFs. The raw data looks like it's right on. And we'll be starting out of uh, 220 at 15 DMA. That's correct. No questions? No questions. Okay. Well, I'm different gonna start transition to level. I'm going to start slowing down. OK, approach briefing. OK. Accomplished, approach check completed. 100, 13,100. Okay. And let's go on oxygen. Set. Engine intake on. Test one, two, three. Come off for a second. You can turn the any ice off. Roger. One thousand to level off. Thousand. Thousand to go nine miles. Starting the turn inbound. Roger. The relief pilot, and we're doing a walk around pre flight inspection in La Paz, Bolivia. 
And uh, we're going to start right here with the nose of the airplane. Uh, I'm not tall enough to touch anything except maybe down there the brakes, the tires. But right here we, I'm going to check the general condition of the nose of the airplane, all the pitot tubes and the stall warning vanes, make sure they're not damaged and uh, in good condition. Also the windshield wipers that they sit uh, where they're supposed to be and uh, the windshields, uh, the right on around. And I'm going to approach the uh, nose gear. And as I'm doing so, I'm uh, looking at all these doors on the side. Uh, these uh, access doors on the bottom, make sure they're all locked uh, in place. I'm going to check the condition of the tires. Uh, nose tires, uh, these hold approximately 145 uh, pounds of pressure. Okay, now that they have finished loading, they close the cargo door. It's flush with its fuselage. And uh, we have come back to the uh, nose again, and the pre-flight is complete. Everything is in order. We're ready to go flying. V1 rotate. V2. Positive time. You're up. <laughs> Keto Tower, challenge cargo 090 is with you on final runway 35. And we got the Let's approach out of the set. Okay. Flaps 30, let me check. Flaps 30. Okay, landing gear. Down three greens. Speed brake. Arm. Flaps. I see 30 with the gauge. 30 with the gauge. Autopilot okay, off. Okay, autopilot is disconnected. You're on the glide slope, sinking uh, 800. You're 1,000 feet above.